but I believe in Christmas. A long time ago in a town of Bethlehem, a savior was born, which is Christ the Lord. Wait a minute, wait a minute, what are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? We're doing the Christmas play. You know that. What's the matter with you? Look around you. Everyone's here. Our parents are even here. Hi, Mom. Well, see, I've been thinking about it, and I don't know if I believe it all or not. What? Don't believe it? Are you kidding me? What don't you believe? I don't know if I believe in the Christmas story. What? Well, when I was younger, I believed in Santa Claus, and you know what happened there. Oh, man, this is worse than I thought. Here, take some deep breaths. It's supposed to help. Wait, I know. We will tell you the greatest story ever told. The greatest story ever told? Yes, we'll tell you the story of Christmas, and you could decide whether you believe it or not. But whether you believe it or not, it's still true. And the really good thing is that, since it's true, no one can ever take it away from you. All right, if you think it will help, thanks. A while back, there was a young woman named Mary. Hi, Mary. Hi, do you believe yet? I don't know. She's supposed to be talking to me. You just stay focused and listen to the story. Mary lived in a town called Nazareth. The town is still there. You could go see it. Oh, thanks. Mary was promised to be married to a man named Joseph. Ugh, lucky guy. Quiet. One day, Mary was visited by an angel of God. Now see, right there, an angel here on earth talking to some girl named Mary. I mean, there's no archaeological proof of that. Did you have breakfast this morning? Yes, cereal. Do you have archaeological proof of that? No. My point exactly. So this angel says to Mary, Hail Mary, full grace of thee, the Lord is with thee. Doesn't that sound like a strange greeting to you? I imagine that's what Mary thinks. She looks really scared. Don't be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will be with the child and give birth to a son. And you are to give him the name Jesus. He will be great and will call the son of the most high. How will this be since I am a virgin? The spirit will come upon you and the most power of most high will overshadow you so the holy one be born with called of the son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a baby in her old age for nothing is impossible with God. I am the Lord's servant. May it be to me as you have said. Then the angel left her. And then Mary got ready and hurried to a town in the hill country of Judea, of Judea to see her relative Elizabeth. She is too old to have a baby. Didn't you hear what the angel said? With God, all things are possible. Hey, where did Mary go? Who is this? This is Elizabeth. Elizabeth was Mary's older cousin who lived in another town, she had been married to a good man named Zachariah for many, 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 many years. Strange. She doesn't look that old. Listen to the story. Months earlier, the angel had visited Elizabeth's husband, Zachariah. The angel had visited, visited Elizabeth's husband, Zachariah, when he had come to offer the sacrifice at the temple. What's the temple? Like church. For Jesus. Oh. The angel said to Zechariah, Don't be afraid, Zechariah. Dude, he looks scared. Actually, angels are quite majestic figures. You could look it up in various passages in the Bible where angels appear to people. Almost all of them reflect how frightened the per people seeing them become. You'd be scared if you saw an angel, too. I guess you're right. I would. Anyway, the angel said, don't be afraid. Zechariah, your prayer has been heard. Your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you will to give him the name John. He will be a joy and delight to you, and many will rejoice because of his birth. For he will be great in sight of the Lord, and will help you make ready for people to prepare for the Lord. How can I be sure of this? I am an old man, and my wife is well along in years. Wow. Did you hear what he, what he just said? He called his wife old. Dude, is he in trouble? Oh, he did something way worse than that. He questioned an angel. Watch this. I am Gabriel. I stand in the presence of God, and I have been sent to speak to you and tell you this good news. And now you will be silent and not be able to speak until the next day this happens because you did not believe my words, which will come true at a proper time. But, 
Hey, what happened to his voice? Gone. Laryngitis? Nope. Power of God. Wow. You said it. Well, it's sure that Zachariah didn't say it. Sure enough, just like the angel had said, Zachariah and Elizabeth were soon expecting their first baby, despite their old ages. But Zachariah still could not speak. It wasn't very long at all before Mary came to visit her cousin, Elizabeth. Elizabeth! Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the child you will bear. As soon as the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the baby in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed is she who has believed that what the Lord has said to her will be accomplished. My soul glorifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices. And God my Savior, for he has been mindful of the humble state of his servant. For now all generations will call me blessed, for the Mighty One has done great things for me, holy in his name. Mary visit, Mary's visit with Elizabeth and Zechariah was lasted about three months, and then she went back home to Nazareth. Bye, Mary. Hi. Do you believe yet? I don't know. When it was time for Elizabeth's baby to be born, she gave birth to a son, just as the angel had told Zechariah. When it was time for, when it was time to name their baby, their friends and neighbors asked them. His name is to be John. Well, none of your relatives are named John. You have to name him after someone in your family. Zachariah, what do you think about this? What is the na baby's name to be? John? John. His name is to be John. John! Suddenly, John. suddenly, Zachariah could speak again. Praise to be unto the Lord, the God of Israel, because he has come and has redeemed his people. And, and you, my child, will be called a prophet of, of the Most High, for you will go on before the Lord to prepare the way for him, to give his people the knowledge of salvation through of through the God forgiveness of their sins because of the tender mercy of our God. Wow, all that time in silence must have given him, given him time to think about what he would say. And John grew up and became a great man of God, just like the angel had said. And later he would be known as John the Baptist. Do you believe yet? I don't know. Well, let's listen to some music. Will Mary be back? Of course she will. All right then. Dead will live again 
this sleeping child you're holding is a great I am. I did you Meanwhile, back in Nazareth, we find Joseph, the man pledged to marry Mary, asleep in his bed. Joseph has had a hard day because as soon as Mary got back from visiting with Elizabeth, it was obvious to everyone that she was going to have a baby. Uh-oh. Yep. Now Joseph was a very good man, and so he wanted to be kind and generous towards Mary. But since he knew the baby wasn't his, he wanted to, sh to make sure what to do next. While he was still considering the options, an angel of the Lord came to him in a dream. Oh no, an angel again? Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son and you are to give him the name Jesus because he will save people from their sins. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took Mary home as his wife. But he had no union with her until she gave birth to a son, and he gave him the name Jesus. He married her? Yep. Sweet. Hi, Mary. You believe yet? I don't know. Here, you read a while. Okay. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that everyone in the Roman world would be counted. Hey, is this almost over? Because I'm getting hungry. Is there going to be cookies and lunch? Yes, there's going to be lunch. Of course there are going to be cookies. There's always cookies. Now read. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to, reg to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a baby. While, while they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there's no room for them in the inn. Hi, Mary. Hi. Do you believe yet? I don't know, but that's a very pretty baby you have there. Yes, he's the son of God. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is right, round your virgin mother and child, holy infant so tender and mild, sleep in heavenly peace. Sleep in heavenly peace. Near the, near the little town of Bethlehem, there are some shepherds living out in the fields, watching their flocks of sheep at night. And all of a sudden, an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and they were really scared. Don't tell me. Angels... Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all, all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of heavenly hosts appeared with the angel praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men. When, when the angels had left them and got into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, 
one another. So he hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in a manger. The 
Pittsburgh wonder They couldn't hide it Told everyone inside Oh, what amazement They heard how God came down on this glorious night God came down on this glorious night I hear the angels singing Hallelujah, let the earth receive her King. I know the love has come. Sing it out, Jesus Christ is born. Jesus Christ is born. Yeah, yeah. Glorious, glorious. Glorious, glorious, what a glorious night. I hear the angels singing, hallelujah, let the earth receive her king. I know that love has come, sing it out, Jesus Christ is born. I hear the angels singing. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. Well, that's that. What a nice Christmas story. Hey, hold it. What happens next? Oh, you don't want to know. Yes, I do. What happened to Mary? What happened to the baby? How am I supposed to believe in Christmas if I don't know what happened? Are you sure you want to know? Yes. Be careful. Wanting to know is a first step to believing. All right, I want to know. Tell me. Well, okay. We'll read it together. You start. Not too far away lived King Herod. He was a king of the whole area where Mary and Joseph were living. About two years after Jesus was born, some men who studied the stars came from the, e came from the east and arrived in Jerusalem. Who are they? What are they carrying? They are some wise men who live in countries nearby. They have, some, they have to find baby Jesus. They are carrying gifts for the, ba for, ba for the baby Jesus, who is now about two years old. The gifts are gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Gold because Jesus is king, frankincense because he is the high priest, and myrrh because of his, ha of, because of his sacrifice. Where is the one who had been born king of Jews, we saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. King Herod knew the ancient prophecies that were that there would be a Messiah born to the Jews. He knew that there was there that that was the king they were talking about. He secretly didn't want to there to be any other king except himself. He called the Jewish leaders together and asked them Where is the Messiah to be born? To the, uh, to the, um, King of the Jewish to say, you say, um, 
tell me more. When, when did you see the star appear? So the wise men told King Herod exactly when they had seen the star appear. Go, go and find him, and when you, uh, when you find him, come back and tell me, so what I can come and worship him as, as well. Wait a minute. I don't like this. Herod means to hurt them. It'll be okay. No, it won't. You've got to do something. You've got to warn her. There's nothing to do. Do you want to hear the rest of the story? Yes. Okay, then let's read. The wise men went on their way, and they saw a star, and the star they had seen in the, in the east went ahead of them until they stopped over a place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold and incense and of myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to the country by another route. Another route? You mean they didn't go back to Herod? Mary is safe? Yes. Well, not quite. What? Well, hurry up. Keep reading. When they had gone, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Oh, no. You're kidding me. Not again. Get up, take the child and his mother, and escape to Egypt. Stay there until I tell you, for Herod is going to search for the child to kill him. So Joseph got up, took the child and his mother during the night, and left for Egypt, where they stayed until the death of Herod. Yes, they made it. She's safe. The baby's safe. Even Joseph is safe. That is the greatest story ever. So, is that the end? Well, almost. Later, Joseph was visited, visited by an angel in a dream and told that Herod had died. So he and Mary and the young child Jesus moved back from Egypt to their hometown, hometown of Nazareth. And there is a happy ending. Jesus grew up, lived a sinless life, taught about God who was his father, and later paid the price for the sins of the world. And now all those who believe in him get eternal life. So now there is one question, the same one Mary has been asking you all day. Do you believe yet? Do I believe yet? Yes. You know, I think I do. I really do. You see, it really is a Christmas to believe in. That was awesome. I believe in Christmas. I believe in Jesus, the Son of God. I'm so glad Jesus was born. I believe the story is true. Okay, we're going to stand there. All right, let's go. Jesus, I believe the story is true. I believe forgiveness came down to us from heaven. I believe in Christmas to you. I believe a virgin the sign to be the Prince of Peace. And I believe the manger was where she laid the tiny King of Kings. I believe in Christmas. I believe in Jesus, I 
to tell the shepherds the good news. And I believe in starlight that led the wise men all their journey through. I believe in Christmas. I believe. I believe the story is true. I believe forgiveness came down to us from heaven. I believe in Christmas to you. Jesus